This is Jim Howe. I'm working on my Bobcat T190. I have to take the tracks off again. We got more oil leaking. I have to see what's going on. So I showed you a video of how to take the tracks off about a month ago. So today I'm going to attempt to show you how I block it up to make life a little easier when you tear it apart. So the first thing I do when I block up the machine is I get a couple of blocks, just a couple of scrap, two by sixes. One like this, another one like that. You can use whatever you want. This is just happens to be what I had on hand. And I do the same on this side. All I'm doing is making a little ramp. What I'll do now is back the machine up and that will pick the back of the machine off the ground. And then I'm going to block it and pick the front up with the loader arms. So you don't want to get your machine too high in the air when you're taking your tracks off. Because if you do, what happens is they droop down and puts more pressure on your sprockets and idler in the front making it harder to get off so all you want to do is get it off the ground enough so the teeth here will go underneath these idlers so I'll show you what I mean I'm just going to get in and back the machine up just to get it three or four inches off the ground in the back. So now you see, we're just like almost four inches off the ground. Okay, so, so what I do next, got some six by six blocks, put one on either side of this. Now I'm going to put another one this way. And I'm just going to push it under so it hits the undercarriage of the machine. You see, I just shoved it ahead until it touches the, ba the belly pan. So now when I push the arms down the front, you'll pick up the back of the machine at the same time as the front. So around here at the front, I have two six by sixes I shoved under there already. They're four feet long. I shoved them under. And what I'm going to do is put a, another six by six on top of them like this I'm putting it right underneath the quick attach so when I push down the arms it'll raise the front of the machine off the ground like I'm going to show you here in a second
So now you can see the front of the machine's off the ground and so is the back. I can remove these blocks here now. That was just to give me a little more height. So now all I have to do is block the front. So what I found works good. Get the two six by sixes. Now I'm just going to put a four by four, and hopefully that will give me enough height when I lower the machine down. Like I say, you only want the tracks off the ground a few inches when you take them off, just to make life simpler. Okay, so now you can see it's just resting on the 6x6 and 4x4 in the front. And I got enough clearance, I think, underneath. So when I let the tension off the tracks, you can see these teeth, you don't want them to catch on these rollers. So when I let the tension off, this will drop down, those teeth should go slide right under. But the higher your machine is, the more your tracks will droop and the tighter they will be for trying to slip them off. So it's important, just get it off the ground just enough. You can see the back, how I got it. Just six by six on the six by six. Right under the belly. So, that's how I jack it up. I hope it uh, helps you guys out sometime down the road.